Selection pressure in Aptima development, a white door with a strong hose. In this video, we're going to provide an explanation on how at New Ventures we manipulate selection for the selection of aptimums. We have found that the mathematical explanation behind this concept can be complicated. Here, we use an analogy to explain a process. Zombies are simply not very effective as individuals. Their strength is in their numbers. If you think of them as aptimers, they're simply not good binders. They bind A specifically and randomly to anything. Now the brainy team we have assembled to represent good aptimers are a different story. They're not going to run out after anything. They were each very good at thinking hard on a specific subject and making advances in their area, but unfortunately very rare in the population. This is why we need to do Celex. We need to select for their ability against that of a lot of zombies. Selection can be thought of as allowing individuals in a room. The size of the door to the room is the availability of a target molecule for them to bind to. If we use a very small amount of target molecule, we will limit the number of individuals that can bind to it in any given selection round. Given that there are a lot of zombies, they can compete for access to the target better than our brainy team. If, on the other hand, we have a large door on our selection room, meaning we use a lot of target molecule, we will allow access to a large number of individuals. The room will be full of both zombies and our scientists. In Celix, after the library has been exposed to the target molecule, the next step is washing the weak binders. At New Ventures, we apply selection pressure with washes. We are selecting for strong k not for k -ons. We are selecting for how tightly these individuals are hanging on to the target molecule. Zombies will be washed off easily. Our noble laureates will stick on. This is exactly what we want selection to be based on. After washing, there will still be more zombies in the room with a large door than there will be in the room with a small door. The important thing, though, is that there will also be good aptimers in the room with a large door. Natural evolution relies on catastrophes where the winners just need to be better than the losers. Aptimer selection is a process over generations, not a catastrophic event. This is why we will need to do repetitive selection rounds. We need to enrich the population. We want a higher bar. We want noble laureates. To review the process, the size of the door corresponds to the amount of target molecule used in the selection. A low amount of target is like using a small door. A high amount of target on your selection is a large door. Sequences that are bad binders are like zombies. There are lots of them, but not very effective. Sequences that are good binders are like scientists. There are few, but effective. There are a limited number of binding sites on your target molecule. Too little target, and you may not retain good binders. Competition for binding is a function of the amount of sequences and binding affinity competition to stay in the room, to stay bound to the target and survive the washes, is more effective than access to the target. Using a large door approach is better for aptima selection than a small door approach. This is why at Neo Ventures we do it this way. For those that may not be completely satisfied with the zombie explanation, here is the math. In the binding equation, A represents the concentration of free aptimer, T represents the free target, and AT the aptimer target complex. In the binding equation, it is clear that the concentration of aptimer and target is as important in terms of binding as the binding affinity. This means that sequences that bind with a KD of one micromolar but are present at millions of copies are as effective at binding to the target molecule initially as sequences 
with a KD in the low nanomolar range, which are present in a single copy. This is why our selections take longer. Selection must be handled dynamically, not in an automatic process, in order to manage stringency as optimally as possible. Selection in this way has a lower risk of failure, but takes longer than automated selections. Selection stringency is managed with washes rather than target concentration. For more information about avoiding zombies, please contact us at Neaventures. Thank you.